Hi friends, I'm John Laspina, your carnivore teacher, today talking about where we get our energy. From where, in our body, do we get our energy? Well, glucose provides energy, ketones provide energy, and glycogen provides energy. Let's break those down. Glucose is a monosaccharide, the generic simple sugar that our body and our cells recognize and take in and use for energy. And if we don't eat enough glucose in the foods, our liver through gluconeogenesis makes just the right amount on demand that your body's looking for. It's demand driven. So we always have just the right amount of glucose to fuel our red blood cells and part of our brain, part of our optic nerve, a few other things that will not work on ketones. But most of our body prefers ketones for fuel. That's the second one. And ketones are created from fatty acids. The fatty acids that are already on your body, subcutaneous and visceral fat, and it's also the fatty acids that you eat. So when you're eating fat on the meat and in the eggs and everything, the fatty acids in the food and the fatty acids that have been deposited on your body, your body converts that into ketones and it's the preferred fuel. We're walking around on our body with tons and tons of potential ketone energy. That's why we can fast for a long, 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 long time and not even feel tired. We actually have more energy when we fast because the ketones are just energetic. Your body likes it. Versus a person who's not fat adapted, they've been eating the standard world diet for a long time. When they fast, they're lethargic, they're moody, their body hasn't learned to use the ketones and it's looking for that glucose that you're depriving it of because you're fasting and you feel miserable. So once your body switches over to becoming a fat burner, it's limitless. It's amazing. The third one is called glycogen. Now you hear the word gl and glucose and you have glycogen. Glycogen is the storage form of glucose. It's a little different and it gets stored in our liver and it gets stored in our muscles all around and it can actually bypass and go right into the muscles. And glycogen is something that we store. We have a limited capacity to store glycogen and once it's filled, it's filled and we can access that and use it like we use glucose. We use it for energy. That's why a lot of runners and people who lift and work out, they carb load to fill up their glycogen stores. But then of course they run out of glycogen. They have to go ahead and drink more glucose more sugar. We who are fat adapted and are running off of ketones have an endless supply of fatty acids that turn into ketones. We can basically exercise and run marathons for days without eating anything or drinking anything. I mean, you're supposed to drink water, but electrolytes and everything too, but you're not going to be energy less. You're not going to be lethargic when you're fat adapted, when you're keto adapted. So yes, we use glucose. Yes, we use ketones when you're fat adapted and we use glycogen, all of us do, and it's a balance and it goes back and forth and ebbs and flows throughout a person's day and life depending on what you eat. I personally am a carnivore. I have no more than three to five total grams of carbohydrates a day that come from eggs or fish or meat. There are some carbs in there, very low a whole day's worth and I'm maybe getting three. So that's not enough sugar for my body. So my liver has to generate a little bit more to compensate for what I'm not eating and that's all. And the rest of my body is saying, okay, we're gonna use ketones because we can't find enough glucose for all the other things. So we're gonna use ketones for fuel. And that's called fat adaptation or keto adaptation. So how would you like to be? Would you like to be a glucose burner? and a glycogen burner, or would you like to be a keto, a fatty acid burner? Most of us will agree we want to burn the fat that's on our body. A lot of people come to this way of life because they want to lose weight, and that will happen, my friend. Males, females, if you deprive your body of the glucose, your body will learn to use the ketones and it will burn the fat. The fatty acids turn into ketone and you will lose weight rapidly. Now, what does rapidly mean? It doesn't mean a week, a few months. 
and you will lose weight depending on how much you need to lose, depending on your activity and everything. Everybody's body chemistry is different, but you will lose weight. You will heal from the inside out. You will see that some of your problems, your skin problems, your joint, muscle aches, whatever you have that you may consider a physical problem, they will get better. Symptoms go away or minimize when we are eating the proper human diet, which is beef and lamb and pork and poultry and fish and eggs, cooking in no seed oils, cook in butter, cook in beef tallow, cook in bacon fat, cook in chicken fat. It's delicious. And stay away from plant fats and your body will take off. A little adjustment period, but it will happen. So those are the three fuels. We use all three, everybody uses all three, but people who are fat adapted or keto adapted, we use ketones very efficiently. We use our fat for fuel very efficiently. We have more mitochondria in all of our cells that have adapted to this way. So we invite you, standard American diet, standard world diet people, you glucose burners, we invite you to come along to drop the plants, to drop the fast food, to drop the processed food and get healthy. And you will be making a video like I am trying to tell other people how fantastic this is. I'm not selling anything. I'm not buying anything extra. I'm just buying the proper foods that make me healthy. And you can too. If you liked this video, click the thumbs up. If you want to share this with a friend, please click the share button and send it off. And I invite you to become a subscriber. I put out a video every day and a song every Wednesday. The songs I create and I just like to sing, but they're about carnivore and eating properly. Have a great day.